Stocks are tumbling because of fears on the second wave of the you-know-what. Um, I think that we have to... Listen, these, these media outlets are... They love driving people's minds and messing with people's minds. And the stocks are declining, though. That That's reality. But what I don't like is that a lot of people that are investing right now are just investing to gamble because there's no sports betting. So a lot of people on Robinhood just gambling on a day-to-day. And the media is obviously focusing on that. They don't have much else to focus on anymore. They can't talk about the pandemic like they did before. They're not talking about the rioting. That was only for like a week. They don't even want to cover the protests that are happening, the peaceful protests that are happening. But now they're 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 covering... Um, People uh, overbuying on Robin Hood, you know, day trading. That's what everybody wants to focus on right now. But it's to take your mind off what you should be focusing on as my YouTube family. Stick to focusing on the long term. Don't let these articles throw you off. Don't let these articles have you feeling like you have to sell right now. Um, I would say only sell if you really, really need that money. If you don't really need that money, hold off. Stop reading these articles and being like, oh my God, everybody's selling. I got to go sell right now. Let me go sell. Let me move out the way. It's sell time because the article is saying everybody's selling. So I got to sell. That's the herd mentality. That's what they want to happen. You lose out on opportunity because if that if that number doesn't come back, it may. I'm not saying it can't. If that number doesn't come back, you lose out, right? We got our foots in the door right now. We got to continue getting the full body. We got to we got to break the door open. Right now the foot's in the door. We got to break the door completely open and that's going to happen over time as long as we stay in the market, as long as we stay active and we stick to our plans and continue fishing for more opportunity. There's plenty of opportunity out there. Plenty. Uh, you know, but we have to be smart and not let ourselves be manipulated. There's going to be down days in the market. I, I feel like I always say this is going to be up days in the market. Um you know, my strategy is what I like to do. I'm not saying you need to do this is I like to buy on the days that are down and I like to just sit and watch on the days that are going up. Uh, sometimes I don't like to, to watch when things are going down because, you know, obviously that means you're losing profit too in that moment, but that's only temporarily y'all. So stick to your plan and let's chat. Let's share with each other. Like what, what stocks are y'all dropping right now? What stocks are y'all buying right now? Let me know in the comments. Let's continue sharing information with each other. Uh, thank you to everybody that's been subscribing. We're over 200 subscribers right now. And I, I hadn't had a chance to, to thank everybody. Uh, I know a lot of these cash app videos is, is what's pushing that. So continue to share, continue to comment, continue to discuss with one another. Thank you to everybody that's been reaching out to me on the side on Instagram. Um, I am available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to talk stocks, to talk anything financial, anything uh, creative that's going to uplift either me or uplift you. Uh, you know, we're only going to make it through this door if we walk through the door together or we push through the door together. So that is my thought process on the whole thing. Make sure you let me know uh, what stocks you are thinking about buying or you are dropping in the comments below. Y'all have a great day.